Here's my latest little experiment. Um, I just got a uh, an HP uh, 5327B timer frequency counter DVM unit and uh, did a little testing on it and uh, I saw a project on the internet where someone had made a, uh, a clock from a frequency counter or a, a counter um, and so I thought I'd try that um, using a GPS source as the clock. So I've got a little GPS module over here connected to the Arduino and a little Arduino code on there that uh, decodes the GPS sentences and um, <clears throat> whenever it gets a pulse on the the, the uh, GPS has a PPS output, one PPS output, it outputs a pulse every second and so whenever it gets a pulse the Arduino outputs it to the counter for the seconds and of course that's UTC time I'll reset it for you so you can see it it doesn't actually sync the time except right when it starts when you reset the Arduino it uh, um, sends a, a bunch of pulses to set the time so I'll reset it here so you can see the time sync And you notice the uh, uh, display is a little is a little bit quicker than on the uh, LCD. Um, that's because the uh, GPS unit outputs the one PPS signal from the, the GPS satellite before it actually sends the serial data with the location and the time information. So it's a little bit behind on the Arduino display. That's just a little I2C LCD that I use for testing. But it's a pretty cool unit. I like the I like the Nixie tubes. They have a nice look. This unit works up to 550 megahertz, I believe. Um, using the input on the back, the two front inputs go up to 50 megahertz. It's pretty versatile, and it's also got a voltmeter inside it which is pretty cool I'll run it through the self check here it's counting its internal reference slow the sample rate down Sometimes it shows a 1 on the small digit, but when you do the most precise, it uh, counts all of them. Actually, this is a 1 second gate time. The 10 seconds, it also does the same accurately. I haven't calibrated it yet, but it seems to be relatively accurate from the sources I've fed into it. So that's it.